What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC here. So today, take these two and we put them head to head, see which one's faster. So right here we're dealing with a, a 110 scale. This is a Kyosho Inferno. This one's been modified, so let me go over and let you guys know what is in it. So I've got a 24 tooth pin pinion gear. I got a 46 spur gear that's in here. Also as far as the actual electronics system that's in it, it's a hobby wing. It is the uh, Max 8 RTR. And it has a 2200 kV motor that's in there, which is the uh, 4274. Now, when it comes to the batteries, the batteries are going to be peak racing. They're a 45C discharge, 5000 milliamp, but I have two of those in this one. So, as far as these GRPs in the rear, and then uh, I got a Kyosho tire up in the front. Anyway, um, we'll get into more of it here in a few. Now, as far as when it comes to the Traxxas, this is the, uh, the rally car, we'll call it. And uh, this one's been modified as well. So if you haven't seen my other videos on it, maybe I'll see if I can put a link it up in the, this video here so you can check out the upgrades that I did to it. But what it has in here right now, it's got aluminum drive shaft. It has an 18 tooth pinion gear. It has a 50 tooth spur gear that's in there. It's got an easy run uh, hobby wing system that's in it, which is a 3200 kV motor. It does have the five millimeter shaft that's on the actual motor itself. And then it's going with, a, I got a Jens Ace 5000 milliamp with a 50C discharge on it. So anyway, that's that. And then I'll go ahead and at the end of the video, I'll let you guys know as far as the things that happen in doing so. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Right, guys so after that little drag race there had some issues uh, there was sand obviously I didn't prep the surface or anything like that non prep surface so things are gonna happen there was sand when I first started running where I still did a sand run more or less uh, in the center and this thing did pretty good it got up to like a little over 40 miles an hour where this one was just shy of 40 miles an hour just because of the fact that I really couldn't put the power down like I could on this one this thing's got more things going for it it's got one thing it's got the weight lower center of gravity so you can definitely push it put that power down now this one here higher center of gravity and uh the, you know as far as the wheels go they're not really designed for asphalt and uh it was very you know the ground or the the surface was very sandy so i moved the car up and i actually got a little bit better run in there but um i had to stop it because here in florida you know not to make excuses but the heat, man, it's torture on everything, including myself, and uh, things get hot. Even just uh, running the video as far as with the GoPros, the GoPro wants to overheat pretty quick, so I have to be careful of that one, so that way I don't waste all my time and then like, oh man, my GoPro shut down. So those are, th those are factors, so I have to make sure everything is done as quick as possible. Uh, motors get overheated super quick, because we're talking, you know, I have to start doing this stuff actually early in the morning, but then I don't get the light like I would like to as well. Anyway, um, I thought these two did really well. I think they're a pretty good, you know, head-to-head -head battle for sure. And I would definitely like to revisit this one anyhow. You guys can leave a comment down below. But uh, this one here, as far as the Traxxas goes, I really, honestly, I couldn't put the power down enough where I think I could, if I could put the power down even more or maybe lower this vehicle down. But I didn't want to prep the cars for anything. I wanted them to be as they are, more or less out of the box, we'll say. So that's where I'm at when it comes to that part. So that's why I wanted to do it that way. But I think if I kind of reconfigured this one a little bit, lowered it down a little bit, I could put it down and maybe throw some different tires on there. But I would need to put different tires on this one as well. Just because these tires are pretty bald and they're about ready to explode. Because you know this thing's a tire killer as far as this Dodge Demon. Or the Audi R8, you know, depending on what body I throw on there. But yeah, that thing kills tires, but it's an awesome vehicle. Um, 
So yeah, that's gonna pretty much wrap it up there. Uh, you guys can leave comments down below. When it comes to it, you guys already got the specs on these things, but uh, yeah, I'll definitely, I'll do some more heads up. I wanna do some other ones. I have some other ideas for some other cars and maybe I'll take it to a different location where the, the surface is a little bit better too. But anyway, appreciate you guys watching as always. Definitely check out omgrc.com for your hobby goodness. And until next time, this is Joe with OMGRC. You guys take care. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment down below. It definitely helps the channel. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Until next time, you guys take care. It's Joe with OMGRC. Later.